Yeah, there's a barge coming up through the fog. It's really foggy. Look at it. Lay down. <laughs> to come out today I think I got something I was gonna get to the dump that looks like a Jack's Reef point right here oh that's too bad that tip's gone but that's still nice look at that Jack's Reef impact classic impact fracture it's been shot that man that's nice look at that I'll show it in a book it's got some grinding. Doesn't look at the lightning line. Man, that would have been a year maker for a These aren't common to find them real, real nice. But I have a whole frame of them from field hunting years ago, but that's pretty decent. Man, it's cool to have one with a true impact fracture. Look at that. Looks like a flute. That one's been shot and impacted for sure. That's pretty cool. All right, here's this Jack's Reef point, and honestly, I would call this an intrusive mound point. It's a shame, but it's a classic impact. I mean, that could be in a book for the impact fracture. Look at the impact channel. It's just classic impact fracture. And you can see here, intrusive mound, Late woodland of Mississippian, 1500 to 1000 years before present. It's kind of the pentagonal form there. You get up here and say, look at it. It's what it is. And here's Jack's Reef. You see, that's similar, but it's more on to the intrusive mound. And you see a high valley area. That's what that is. Still nice. Later. All right. The reason why I knew what that point was before I picked it up is because I looked these sites for decades. All of them. Except the new ones I talk about. And then I'm trying to get that cross section of points, that that grouping of them from, let's say this is 9,000 years, and I want to come down in here 6,000 and get that grouping of points, and then come up in here to historic, up into the Mississippian, up into historic. And then you get back into that deep time 13,000 plus years ago and we know more about space and what's going on back here that's really the stuff I'm looking for looking all around and see this blue green stone it was up here on the beach and it's tumbled out of this high bank and it's a sandy ridge this was not in that sandy ridge naturally it was carried in by human hands i can tell by how far it is off the base clay what's around it it was carried in and it was carried in because they loved this material to make silts and axes out of but they did not end up making anything out of it because the rock was fractured they threw it down so they already picked this up it was in these rocks see that rock you're gonna pick that up i thought it looked like a silt look at that moss growing on it um but I wipe it off. It doesn't have much working up here. It has a little started here, but this this has manipulation to it, and it's real smoothed off. It's a little pestle, you know, that Jack's Reef now this. There's some newer stuff here. This is probably a woodland piece, but it ain't bad. Well, this is my first screen where I came, and I got a flake and a broken point in the first screen. Feels like a pretty good layer, I see this point. Would have been pretty nice. Right here, it's a tip. But it's broke, and that real beautiful piece of river cobble agate. Man, it's a shame that points break. I'll get back. Well, I'm sifting on that site. I find bird points here. I found some older stuff. There's, it's hard to tell what's going to come off this place from historic stuff up to contact, up into the 1860s even back to flakes and stuff but I got something interesting I don't know what this is it came right off the base clay it's metal huh what in the heck is that it's old 
what is this, folks? It's super heavy. Looks like it hooked on to something, but what is that? It looks like some kind of a tool. See, look at that. What is it? And it looks like, see this end of it here? It looks, that's been manipulated. See, it's, what is this? Man, this is odd, folks. I don't know what to think of this. Huh. If you know, put it in the comments. Just got my first flint artifact. It's some kind of knife or tool. It looks pretty nice. You know, I'm standing in the rain. Let me set it up here. I saw some old cedars. This is old ceramic. See it? I saw another piece with some... Yeah, see? That's why I find that metal object. And I see there's little pieces there. There's old glass. I'll look through the rest of this, but... Right here. It's a knife. That's kind of decent. It's all there. Look, it's... I bet you it was hafted. That's kind of cool. It's not broke. It's just made that way. That's cool. But, you know, this fleet to this awesome material here. That's why I'm on these places, this type of material, just jewel grade flakes. And this is a flake from the manufacturer of some just amazing ancient artifact made out of this material. And it's everywhere in here. Not everywhere, but enough of it to keep me interested. Later. Sifting in here, I wasn't doing good, so I moved to a new spot and I got an artifact and it's decent. Right there it moved. It's a really nice quality flint tool and it'll be translated look at this real beautiful material it's a little knife it's got all kinds of use on it little knife beautiful material look at that later yeah see this i'm gonna have to take this back to walmart and get another one i busted this shovel already it's guaranteed i think for life piece of junk the head's real good but the handle didn't hit wear up jesus but i got the ever elusive amos point it looks like it's a pretty decent one let me see if i can't get it in the sun here all right man it's serrated you see it ever elusive amos point man these are hard to find folks right up here little amos Nice serrations. It's a sharpened down one. It's got a ear next, but it's still good. These are so hard to find. All right, here's a look at this little point. Heavily ground base and notches. Um, it's an Amos. Kind of looks like a Palmer. It's a sharpened down one. It would have had two hanging barbs. It would have been spectacular if it didn't have the damage. Here's what it is. Amos. See the dates there? It's a little waddle waddle dart. It's too bad, but it's still kind of decent. Later. Yeah, there's a little triangle. It's break, snapped right in half. It would as thin as a penny. Look at that. I found a few of them in here. I found a real nice drill here sifting one day. There isn't the water's down, but there ain't much to look. I'll get back if I see anything else. Seeing if I can get anything lost. See, there's a river cobble. It's breaking open little flake I'm looking at it. looks like a yeah it's a piece of old glass but yeah I got a pretty nice piece here laying out right let's say one two three four five six steps after I found right here's the I found the triangle one, two. now see if you see this there's another flake right there. I should do some sifting here. Man, this looks nice, actually. Looks pretty nice. It'd be a Mississippian piece. You see it now? And I don't figure there's any damage to this. See the little centipede there? You see the piece? Right here, I got another drill. Yeah, look. Oh, man, this is nice. That's all cortex of the river cobble. See it? No damage whatsoever. Beautiful two-tone drill with a fossil in it. Wow. That ain't bad. Man. Man. Okay, that last one was broke. 
Something's laying right there for me, huh? Look at this. Right there's a Greensboro, Pennsylvania, South Glaze Croc, O-R-O, -O, Greensboro. Let's look through here real quick. See, I came over here to look for bottles and every, see there's more, there's a, there's a coke. Come over here to look for bottles and every once in a while I find arrowheads and it's mostly Mississippian, Jack's Reef, see there's cobalt blue glass. It's hard to tell what's laying over here. Later. All right, here's this little drill. See the fossil in it right there. It's pretty nice. It's Madison in that Mississippian cultural period. But you can see right there's the cortex of the river cobble church. No damage to that at all. That's very cool. It's got polished the, the side. Well, I completed this frame for sure now. I move them around a little bit. Right there's the drill I just found and right beside it's a Madison that came from right in the same area. That's what it's associated with that drill is that triangular point in the bottom left there right beside the drill. It's Mississippian cultural period and it's about a thousand years old and this is other stuff I found recently. I'll show you the Madison types in a book. All right, there's the kind of points right here that I'm finding around where I found that drill. There's lots of drills and lots of Madisons. There's also Jack's Reef stuff right associated with it. Some of the triangles are made of Upper Mercer that I found broken. And on that site, I'd say they're right at the, the, the oldest age, 1100 years old. That's thousand years old. Um, there's some more of them, there's a drill. Um, some of them look like that. Some of them are made out of river cobbles like the one I found in this video. And this book is great. The Irish Street Identification to Indian Airheads. You can find it on eBay or Amazon. Thanks for watching. I'm, work I'm working on a video. I thought I'd come in here. Watch this. He's, he's got fresh pecans. They're real big, delicious ones. They're, they were expensive. I went and got them. Got him a whole bag of them. Look at him hogging. You ball hogging? Look at him. He'll attack me. Hey, that's not nice. I'm the one that got him. Look at Squirrel Man. He's a ball hog. Watch him. Look, he's all putting them in a pile under him. Look, he's ball hogging them. I'm going to get him. Oh, the ball hog. He never does this. He's never like that. He is with the pecans. Look at him, folks. The ball hog. This is my pet squirrel for you new people. Look at him. He's spoiled to death. He's still in his little Debbie house. He's getting cherries. Watch. You coming to attack, ball hog? I'll have to come in from the top because I know you'll take an ear up, won't you? Well, you eat your pecans. That's what you really wanted. Look here, folks. It's the old ball hog. You, you like that right there, don't you? Look at this. He even stopped chewing. Somebody likes ear rubs. Look at this. Hey! Alright, folks. <laughs>